Ah, very satisfying. Ooh, wait, this kind of looks good. Can you see the difference? I ate drawing all those eyes. Flip then trace. <gasps> Whoa, bro, did you just copy and paste in real life? Looks pretty good. Let's try it out. That's right. This is the first time in all of my channel's history that I am drawing on paper. The things I do for TikTok videos, am I right? Okay, so put a piece of paper on top of your drawing. So you're supposed to shade it like this. And you make it even more thick. I made it like three layers of pencil. And yeah, let's remove it. Ooh, you can already see it. And now let's trace real quick. Okay, let's take it off. And what? It's not there. Wait, why is it not there? Okay, let's try again. So I just realized you're supposed to make your grip really hard. Like, you need to put a lot of pressure. And there we go. But it looks like crap. Okay, so let's just redraw it real quick. And done. Looking pretty... Wait a second. It is not aligned. What? Bro, what the heck? It's not aligned. Yeah, so this is what it looks like on top of the reference. You can literally tell that it's not aligned. Well, this is embarrassing. You can see why I never draw on paper. 2 out of 10. Next. Not being able to draw hands. Clip Studio. <gasps> Is that a hand tracker? We gotta try that out. Okay, so let's try it out real quick. Import a hand pose in real time. Yep. Let's show our hands. <gasps> oh my gosh. It works? Holy crap. It actually looks good. Wait, let me try the Aki pose. What the hell is that? I think it only works in like certain angles. Let's try the right hand. Oh my gosh, what the hell is happening? Everything else aside, it's actually like really cool. Like it legit copies your pose real time. It's actually kind of creepy though. Wait a second, let me... Huh? Wait, please. Please make a heart with me, please. Guys, I'm never gonna stop until I get the heart pose. Bruh. Close enough. The 3D hand can act as your fictional boyfriend. And for that, I rated an 11 out of 10. Yes, I have no bitches. Next, I'm so glad I switched to CSP in time for this brush to trend. Ooh, what is that doing? What is that brush, bro? Sam, it's so precise and so satisfying, bro. I gotta try this out. Here it is. Brush is called Erase a Long Edge. Thank you very much. Just copy and paste it on the store. And there we go. Thank God it's free because I'm broke. Gaff. So here we have a poorly colored circle. Let's just drag our tool to our workspace. All right, this better work. Ah, looking pretty. Wait, what the? Let's just pretend that didn't happen. So it works pretty well. Just don't put your brush straight into the colored part or else it's going to erase too. Okay, so I got this drawing right here. Let's actually test it out on a real drawing. So let's fill it up with color and let's erase and... Ah, very satisfying. So it just makes a couple of mistakes sometimes, but other than that, it's amazing. Too bad it can't erase real life mistakes, know what I'm saying? 7 out of 10. Next, art tip of the day. When drawing eyes from scratch, draw the lower lashes first. If the character looks like they're sleeping, they're in the right place. Smiley face. Bro, that does not look good. Anyway, let's try it out. So we got this drawing. Okay, so we gotta draw her little sleepy face. Just two curves like so. Ah, sleeping beauty. Now we draw the rest of the eye, I guess. We just make it thick so she looks edgy af. Then the eyelashes. Okay, well, she looks very sleep deprived. Perfect. Probably just gonna make her eyes bigger. Uh, yeah, what do y'all think? Pretty solid tip. Next. I was trying some background methods. Okay, let's see here. This guy is warping the grid thingy. Okay, uh, that seems like a bit of work. Okay, and then we have this. This is so smart, but like, instead of doing that, let me show y'all this hashtag hidden feature on Procreate, okay? Literally just go to actions and click on canvas, then turn on drawing guide. And there we go, we got this cute little grid here, but cool 
Celine, it's not 3D like the TikTok. I'm not done yet. Let me finish. Go back to settings and click edit drawing guide. And you're gonna see that isometric button. Simply click that and then bam. You can now use this to draw a poorly drawn cube like so. Look at that. Very poorly drawn. I can even draw a bigger poorly drawn cube like so. The guidelines are supreme. If you want to make your lines better, literally just click assisted drawing and shazam. The lines are gonna stick to the grid. Shazam! Decently drawn cube. Thank me later. New Ibis update. Uh, yeah, let's pretend we know what's happening. Okay. Okay, so apparently Ibis Paint has AI super resolution, which means that it's gonna make your art more super resolution. Let's try it out. Apparently, you're supposed to go and click share this button right here, and then just click AI super resolution. Okay, loading. And then... Hmm. Okay. Ooh, wait, this kind of looks good. Can you see the difference? I mean, it's pretty cool if you like when I resize your art, but like uploading it, Instagram is gonna ruin the quality anyway. So what is this even for? Negative four out of 10. Next, why Clip Studio Paint is superior. It doesn't ducking cut off my drawing when it goes out of border. Some art programs don't cut off your drawing? Wow, people did not know about this. I feel bad for you guys. Okay, so for those who don't get it, let's say I have a very nice drawing, juicy booty, and I select it and drag it across the canvas. It's all fun and games and all, until you accidentally drag him out of the canvas. And when you try to drag him back, bro, what? Why did he get cut in half? That is what happens in Procreate. It's also what happens in Ibis Paint. You accidentally drag it out of the canvas. Bam! Coolin got cut in half. Why do they even do this, bro? Luckily, I draw in Clip Studio, so it doesn't get cut off no matter what. Clip Studio Paint Supremacy. Oh, and Paint Tool Side does this as well. Highly recommend. Next, putting makeup on my drawings. Wow, she looks crusty off. Okay. Mm. Actually, this is kind of cool. It's basically a drawing tutorial that is also a makeup tutorial. And the end result looks pretty cool. I want to try this out. So this is how I usually do my makeup, okay? Makeup tutorial by Kooleen. First off, you gotta make the skin look not anemic. So let's put on foundation to even out her skin tone. Then put some concealer to remove her eye bags. And now the blushies. Let's put some eyeliner real quick and add some smegsy eyeshadow. Don't forget the egg you saw. Now let's put on lipstick. Okay, so at this point, I still look like crap, so I put on fake lashes. Then you could also wear contact lenses that make your eyes bigger, and also cause it to change color. Lastly, we put the juicy highlighter, and that's about it. Hope you guys like this video, watch this next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.